A newer option has started in the Sunuka crater chains of the Reykjanes Peninsula of Iceland. And uh, this one has started by the time of 1.20 a.m. after midnight. You saw a earthquake swarm happening, right sharp point rising the earthquakes and then falling down. You could see it on the seismograms. Also, we could see that on the map as we plotted them, this is the concentration of them in the area of the source and volcanic system. And again, the temporal or time concentration of them at that time. It started around the, after midnight. By 6 o'clock, almost it finished the earthquake swarm. But the earthquake swarm created the vibrations needed to move the magma, which is a non-Newtonian fluid. So it could flow and the flow of the magma to the surface, toward the surface, caused the land to drop. We had a huge amount of the land rise before that, and then it dropped. We can see that. And this uh, magma, which was oozing out of the ground, causing the drop down of the ground, the land was practically punctured as if created an eruption, which we could see at the surface. It, it, it didn't take more than half an hour to reach the surface, and we have seen it. It is in this area of the Little Skogfell, and the eruption is like that. I will let you listen to this. The magma reached the surface and erupted as lava, lava flow around two kilometers in a line, several fissures are staggered against uh, each other. This is the Icelandic coastal uh, guard uh, flight over the area. This is the first map that we have. And because of the bad weather, we are not uh, able to actually tell the extent of this eruption. But the location of the fissure, which is here, you can see it. First one opened and the second one also opened after that. We have now a flow of the uh, gases toward the northwest. And this is in the area of the previous eruptions. I will keep you updated on that and will inform you about any further development as it happens.